Okay, so today we're going to be talking about the law of attraction and if it's a fad or actually something that you can use in your life. Uh, so in my experience, firstly, uh, mm. when I first started to, like I first heard about the law of attraction through The Secret, which is a book by Rhonda Byron and it's a very famous book. Um, very famous book. Very famous book, but accurate, not so sure. Very uh, controversial. Book. Very almost controversial. Like very different to what it should be in a sense because it can promote an unhealthy oh, yeah. relationship 100%. with the law of attraction and stuff like that. Mm. Um, my 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 experience was that I read the book and then I would use the law of attraction to say that I'm going to be a millionaire and all this sort of stuff and wealthy and successful and stuff. I had no idea how I was going to do that. And then because of that, I had really bad mental health and then had a bad attack. And like, that's <laughs> one of the reasons, right? And now we're here today. And now we're here today and I'm not a millionaire. But. Not yet. Yet. But. Just tell yourself what you're a millionaire. Yeah. Not yet. But, um, you know, that's my experience. And since then I've read numerous amounts of other books, which are more accurate, I think, and more healthier way of going about it, where the law of attraction does seem applicable to your life and you can actually use it. Mm. Um, and it's like, as long as you're actually doing something and working towards something, you can visualize or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it will actually help. Yeah, um, like the meditation we did before. Yeah, we did a meditation before where it was, My yeah, on his channel. Uh, what was it again? It was a it was visualization. It was a visualization meditation. Of, it was beautiful. Meditation. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, it was a really really good one. So if you, if you haven't done any meditations before, or if you have more more, rather if you have done meditations before, and you want something a bit different, I reckon it's a really good one to do. A visualization. A visualization meditation because it can be very interesting. Mm. But you just can't get too caught up in it and too caught up in the idea of like that's. I have a Lamborghini. That's what I mean. That's what I, I think that's the thing that I took away from that is that you don't get too caught up in yeah, it because yeah. it can be too much. Yeah. But if you set goals and you're visualizing how that those goals will play out mm -hmm. and then you take actions to achieve those goals, then that's where I think, <clears throat> I don't know if you call it the law of attraction, but that's where like a visualization, visualization. meditation. I almost prefer coming. the word visualization. Oh man, fuck that word, law of attraction. Yeah, I, I almost prefer visualization. But um, I, I don't completely know what I think of it. Like, like I have had interesting experiences with the law of attraction in the past, but I'm not convinced that it's real. I'm not mm. also. I, I'm not also going to say it doesn't work. I don't know, but I will say that using the law of attraction or visualization in a way um, when it's combined with goals and like actions, it just makes sense. It's like if you are thinking about a certain thing a lot, if you are thinking about making a million dollars every single day, right? Now, this is probably not something that's going to happen overnight, but if you're constantly thinking about making that million dollars and how that will feel, then you're going to be fucking pretty motivated to make that million dollars. So then your actions will be in align with the goal of making a million dollars. Yeah. And that would be how the law of attraction plays out. Now, but I could be wrong. And maybe all you have to do is just, I have a million dollars. And then and repeat that to yourself once magic. a day for three years. And there you go. Like That's what I was taught though. Yeah. It wasn't the work part. It was that part. It was the, you just think about it. Such a pussy way to do it. I don't want to wish a million dollars into existence. Yeah, bro. Who wants don't to? Don't be a bitch, man. Yeah. Just, like, what the hell? You got to do work to get there, man. That was the thing as well, though. I think we're both bad, very... Bad, bro. Naive. Yeah. Wanting the easy silver spoon. In, in a sense, that's what I wanted, actually. Like a silver spoon to just... There's yeah. a million dollars. It's very comforting. Just, yeah. It's like... Very you don't comforting. Have to do anything, just think about just it. Just think about it. But bro. then it's also not comforting when it's like. When I think that when I, if, if let's say that is how it happens yeah. and it works, if I got the million dollars, I would be depressed. There's no, you know how it's like the process, it's always the process, not the, or the destination. Yeah, dude. But that's actually true though, because you'd think back to like what you did to do it. It's like, 
Yeah, I worked really hard for this one million dollars. I um, I thought about it every day, and then I got a million dollars. Yeah, you're in like in a team meeting. To, yeah, in comparison to yeah, you know, I worked really fucking hard. I grinded mm -hmm. every day, and mm -hmm. I did some visualizations and stuff. Like, mm -hmm. isn't that so much more rewarding? Yeah, hundred percent. In comparison, it just fell into my lap, but I thought about it for a lot, so it's okay. Hundred percent. Yeah, but I don't. Yeah, that's so true. I still don't know. Something about me doesn't feel right with saying like. It, that's just not true because maybe it is how it works because mm -mm. people the thing is that gets me is so many people so many people are always online it's like this really worked for me yeah. this really worked for me yeah. and i've actually uh done law of attraction meditations to attract certain things and it's like happened um not saying that's because of the law of attraction because I, I don't think that is the case but um yeah, and I've been that guy that's commented on the video. He's like, oh my God, this worked for me two weeks after and I have this. And it's like, but you see a lot of those comments. It gets you thinking. And um, when you think about it, though, when you really think about it, actually, right. this thought, which is just, if you think about it enough, like you said before, if you think about it enough and that's all you're thinking about, yeah, like, it's you're sexual. more likely to do the actions that would yeah, get you there. Yeah, that's the thing. That's like that but, is but the that most being logical. said, it, that can be uh, futile because mm. that's what happened with me. You Mind mean? you, I wasn't doing anything, yeah. but I was thinking about it constantly. Yeah, yeah. What? That's why I think there's a healthy balance of the doing and mm. the thinking and the visualization. Mm -hmm. That's the message we have to send out. It's like is, is, law of attraction, but actually do some shit. But actually get off your shit. ass. Get off your ass. Don't just sit on the couch and think you're going to get a million dollars. Law of attraction, but go to the gym. Yeah. <laughs> if yeah. you want a 10 yeah. out of 10 body. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. Like... You can't just like think, okay, I'm going to. I will wish the fat away. Because they, they did some studies and uh, none of these are, this is yeah, just from books. Studies. Yeah, I'm not putting any <laughs> links in the description. But I remember there was one about basketballers and stuff like that and it wasn't I don't know if it was NBA I don't know if it was I think it was a mm. test subjects and it was like visualize them doing how many like throws mm -hmm. they could do mm. um, and it was sort of a control team and then the other team uh, we'll do it team A B and A was told to actually shoot hoops and to like practice and team B were like told to like visualize and it turned out that team B actually when actually doing the action mm. team B scored more Why which do you is think pretty that is? crazy but That's the question. I don't know. Yeah. And uh, look, you can look that up. Don't obviously. I don't know the study or what it's called, but I've I've read it before, and you can look that up. I'm sure if you just look up law of attraction basketball case study, and I'm sure it's on there. Um, just take everything with a grain of salt. But yeah, I I, I would agree. except for take action. Yeah, definitely take action. I think that would be the most important thing. Action first. Law of attraction second. Yeah, always, always, yeah, don't think just or do. Or throw it off, off don't, it. don't think just do. Yeah, I mean. To an extent. As in like when you're thinking about a business idea or something. Well, oh, yeah. Well, yeah, don't think, don't overthink yourself to yeah. death. And don't think if I, if like, don't think that I'm going to have this, I'm going to have this, I'm going to have this. And then not actually do anything to be able to get that. Mm. Yeah, uh, I think that's it. So what do you think, Thad? Or do you think it's actually... You give me a law of attraction smash or pass right now. Yeah, smash or pass, what do you get? Hold on, on. Would you swipe left or right? The, as, <laughs> if it's a black and white question, it's, yeah. it's difficult. I just want to say this really quickly. If it's the law of attraction, but under a different like name and it's not law of attraction, and okay. it's, it's like it's like visualization yeah. and goal setting, yeah. 100% smash. Yeah. smash. If it's law of attraction as we know it, I'm gonna have to pass. Fair. What I think mean? I'd be the same, actually. Yeah, yeah. I much prefer the use of the word visualization. Yes. You know, it's mm -hmm. not as. I'm an Aquarius and this is my. <laughs> you know, all that bullshit. And yeah, if you take offense to that, hey, go fuck yourself. I don't care, bro. But. Um, you, know, you never know, man. Maybe in three years you'll be making a video and you're like. I'm this a, is my month as a. I'm a Gemini. As a Gemini. Yeah, yeah I don't yeah, know yeah, what yeah, thing yeah, you are. Yeah, Gemini. Week one of yeah. being a Gemini. Anyway. <laughs> I'm uh, a virgin. <laughs> it's Virgo. <laughs> I, know. I know. I just thought it'd be funny and put in the end of the video. Yeah. Anyway, guys, uh, you heard it here first. We think it's useful to some extent. Yeah, for sure. Um, but use it as your own. Uh, use it at your own risk, I would say. And do your research, I would say. Do your research. Don't just read the secret. Please don't just read the secret. I think that's. Fuck you, Wonder. No, don't. Right. <laughs> I actually don't. We're never gonna get sponsored. <laughs> well, we were, right.
she also is probably a millionaire who lives in Australia, so all good. But uh, no, see you, Rhonda. Let's wave to Rhonda, guys. Bye. See you, Rhonda. Bye-bye. <laughs>